Hello, Internet. My name is Robert Pound, and I'm a product technologist at Quest. This video will demonstrate how to use the Compare tool to compare two database schemas in Toad Edge. It will also be important to understand the basics of the Compare tool if you plan to use version control or snapshots in Toad Edge, as the Compare tool is used with those features as well, but they will be covered in another video. It is assumed for this video that you have at least one connection established in Toad Edge and you have two databases that you want to compare. So to get started, there are a couple of different ways to actually do a compare in Toad Edge. Uh, the simplest way is to simply click and select two databases in the Object Explorer and then right click on one of those objects and choose Compare Schemas. This will open up a schema compare tab and you can begin the process of comparing these two schemas. You also can choose uh, compare from the top. I have the ability to either choose new, previously run compares, or open a comparison. I'm going to choose new comparison and you can name the comparison if you like demo prod dev let's say uh, and then you choose your source and targets so in this case, these are the sources and targets that I was interested in, but if I, was, if, if I wanted a different connection, I could either select one or create one. And then choosing the database, uh, I'm going to choose production on this side and development on this side. And you have the ability to choose any of the objects uh, that you have access to in the Object Explorer. So for this demo, I'm going to simply choose tables and functions. And then you have some comparison rules. So if you want to uh, ignore column order, you can, or you can uncheck this and it will look at the column order as a change. Uh, and you have uh, more details. If you want to look at detailed settings, you can get into specific details about what exactly is ignored uh, when comparing the two objects. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the defaults and I'm gonna go ahead and click compare. And this will again open a comparison tab. Uh, this one is named, so we can open it up again if we so choose. The comparison tab itself is broken into two parts, the object portion and the script portion. So in the object portion, you have all visible objects uh, for the comparison itself. And note that we did choose table and functions originally, uh, but you can dynamically add and remove uh, to the comparison. So if I wanted to look at procedures, I can choose the checkbox and now there's a procedure that needs to be compared as well. Uh, so looking in the objects itself, you have a recompare all. This is basically a refresh. It'll go through and recompare everything. Uh, you can choose to save as uh, if you wanted to name this something else. This allows you to navigate all unread comparisons. So uh, if you do read them and you want to treat them as unread, you can see this column here. Uh, I can right click and choose mark as unread and then it will be able to navigate through again. Uh, you can also generate a report. So as I have it right now, uh, I can choose uh, generate a report and what this is going to do is create an HTML report and we'll call this demo one and click save. And I also have the option of opening the folder or the report once it's been generated. I'm gonna go ahead and real quickly walk through the report. So uh, right now we were only comparing procedures and tables. So I have the ability to look at those uh, and looking at the comparisons themselves, it's gonna give you an idea of uh, what's in the comparison itself. And this is again, looking at the uh, what's in the script. So back to the tool itself. Uh, aside from the report, you also have the ability to generate an entire uh, update script either for the target or the source. And you can generate this uh, as, an, as a SQL file to the clipboard or in a worksheet. So if I was going to update the target, for instance, and I wanted to generate a script in the worksheet, it's going to take all the changes in this compare tab and put it into one worksheet so you can run it uh, and run all the changes or modify it. Uh, as you so choose. And then after that, you have filtering options. So you can filter out uh, changes in the target source, uh, changes in both uh, the ignored portions. Uh, so you can filter them out and you can see that the objects are gonna change. 
And you also have the ability to change how the objects are displayed. So if you don't want any sort of hierarchy, right now we have the object type and status. If you want just the status, you can see all the differences, all the in source only, all the in target onlys. Uh, or you could simply choose nothing. This will just be objects in a grid. Uh, I like this uh, object and status. Uh, because it breaks it out per object and per uh, type of uh, comparison. And then you can also search for objects. Uh, you can filter by the modified date, so you can obviously change the calendar here. Uh, and then you also can hide anything excluded. So if there was something in this comparison that I just want excluded from the comparison completely, so let's choose cities. If I choose add to exclude, then it will no longer be in the report. But if I want to see all the objects that have shown up, I can click show hide and it will be uh, an object that has been excluded. And as you can see, I've also excluded country in the past and show empty nodes. So if you want to hide the empty nodes, then you don't have the ability to dynamically add them in or if you click this uh, show, then you can add in things uh, after the fact. So that covers the objects themselves. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the script. So when you're comparing your objects, uh, currently you can see that all the changes are going from the source to the target, uh, and that's indicated here. If, for instance, I wanted to change this to go the other direction, in this case, update the production environment from the development, I can click on this arrow and it will uh, change the direction of the update itself. So if I click again, it will change both and finally ignore. So looking at a given object and then moving to the script definition in the bottom, we can scroll through the actual object itself and see what changes have been made. So in this case, <coughs> you can see it highlighted in both scripts and then you can also hover over each individual item to see in this case the IDE column is missing in the target and just below it the IDE underscore used is missing in the source and that's because I renamed that column and there's an update in length from 20 to 100 here you get the idea um, so if I wanted to look at the change script I can come to this tab and currently, since it's set to update the target, uh, the, the script is on the target side. So as you can see, it's going to alter the, the column that we just talked about. If I wanted to change that again, instead of clicking in the column at the top, I could also choose it from the drop-down list. And now you can see the alter scripts are going to be on the source side instead of the target side. And we have the same option that we did at the top, so if I wanted to update on the target, uh, I have the ability to export this as a script, copy it to the clipboard, or open it in a worksheet as well, as well as deploy it directly from here. Hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to use the dynamic compare feature in Toad Edge, and how to use that feature for database schema compare. For more information on this product, visit www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash toad edge. You can also check out the community driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com forward slash products forward slash toad edge. Thank you and have a great day.